Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. I thought you could join me while I popped my makeup on this morning. Um, save time and all that jazz. So, poor old Ozzy's family has still not had their results back. So, they're still having to stay at home, regardless of what, you know, how they're now feeling, because they haven't had their results back. So... I do feel sorry for them. It's a little bit worrying, isn't it, really, that you go this long, potentially being, uh, what's the word, infectious. Yes, you're self-isolating, but obviously anybody you've come in contact with hasn't been notified because you haven't had a positive result. So let's just hope it's negative, because otherwise there'd be a whole bunch of people walking around who potentially be spreading it system needs fixing but I do feel sorry for them because I'm pretty certain it's going to be negative she was feeling grotty she did the right thing she had the test and she feels fine again now um, but obviously she's having to wait I mean it's a lot of waiting <laughs> it's a long time so yeah, but the house of kids, it's exhausting, bless her. Desperately needs some time to herself, I think, when this is, when she's free. Um, so it's probably just going to be Finn. Excuse me. Look at that looking in this look. Oh, look at that funny face. Yeah, so it's probably just going to be Finn and Thomas. Finn and Thomas uh, during the day. And then obviously the before and after school is as well as normal. Sam and Ollie. And Christopher in the morning. And then Christopher and Llewellyn in the afternoon. I've got Davy this morning as well, I believe. So been quite a funny week really I've sort of low on numbers because I've not had Aussie and then obviously I didn't work yesterday well not during the day because obviously had Kenzie's appointment didn't know how long that would take which actually has worked out quite well bearing in mind I spent the first part of the week feeling so rubbish that having a quiet a quiet week has actually probably worked out quite well for me in the long run. How do I look? Oh, it'll do. It'll do. Oh, it's flipping freezing though. Look, my zombie fingers. Reynard's has kicked in because I got out of bed and I got cold. Yeah, that one in particular. Oh, and that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need a hot cup of tea. A bit of internal warming going on to prevent full zombification occurring yes but I shall be the walking dead come with me oh it's a foggy day out there it's a foggy one that'll explain why it's so flipping cold I put the tumble dryer on just to try and warm up the uh, the kitchen a bit because all the hot air, it's got a condenser and the hot air comes out of that bit down there and helps to heat the place up. I've got dishes to put away, stuff to put in the dishwasher, stuff to put in the rubbish. Look, another tea bag tower. This one is not quite so creative. And for some reason, we have a second jar. So this must be ready to start because this one is getting full. Very creative. There we are, tidied the kitchen, everything in the dishwasher, everything put away. It is that cold, I'm going to have to flick this heater on as well for extra warmth. These guys need a clean out. And why is there not a lot of bubbles coming out of the bubbly thing? Hmm. Going I'm going first this time. Okay, I've got a triangle so I can match the triangle. Right, your go. Triangle uh or... 
or penguin? I've got a triangle here. Oh, perfect. Put that one on then. Excellent. Right, reindeer or triangle? Oh, I've got a reindeer. Have you got a reindeer or a star? Oh, you've got a star. I've got a star. Right, now it's star or a snowman. Have you got a star or a snowman? Oh, you won that time, did you? Wait for that. Oh, a bit. Hey, wait, huh? Are you boys playing um Playmobil? No. Yeah, you are. Playmobil. That's what those toys are called. Is this the police? Uh, yeah, that looks like the police. Thomas has decided he needs to keep his hat on. Yeah, look, the other house is the one with the chimney. Shall I get Father Christmas and his sleigh? Here we are, look, Father Christmas. There you go. And then he goes down the chimney, doesn't he? If you take him out of his sleigh. There is a fire at the bottom of the chimney. There's no fire. There is, have you looked? At the bottom of the chimney, there's a fire. I don't see any fire. Yeah. Finn, show him the fire. There it is, look. He's ah. taken it out so it doesn't burn his body. I nearly fell down in that. <laughs> Did you nearly fall in the box? Oops. You like blue and green, do you? No. No, I like blue and green because they're nature colours. You like blue and green. Yeah. I like pink and red. Pink and red are very similar colours, aren't they? Yeah, I love Spotty. Orange. You like orange? I like orange. Black and orange does look very good together. That almost looks like a Halloween-y colour, black and orange. Yeah, and red and blue. What colours make you think of Christmas? Christmas? Yeah. Um, at Christmas, I like green and blue. Do you? Yeah, yeah green's a real Christmassy colour. And red for, like, baubles. I love red. Yeah. Some colours make you think of different things, don't they? Yeah, they do. They try to make us smile or be yeah. sad or sneeze. A sneeze? <laughs> so things like things like yellow and orange and red make me think of like hot sunny days, like the sun. But sometimes when I think of yellow and silver, they make me go to sleep. Oh, do they? They calm in colours for you. Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, I spy in my eye something in red and orange. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll have to remember that then. Nice calming colours. Wake up, Thomas. Something inside a present. I love that star. That's really cool. And all your twinkly lights. You're drawing presents at the bottom now. And now I draw um, a new hat. Nice. Wow, well, look at the star you put on the top, Finn. That's really cool. And baubles and lights and tinsel. Baubles. I'm just doing presents on my tree, under my tree, for each of us. One for Finn, one for Thomas, and then I need to do one for me as well. On there. Okay, does that mean we need to put some glue on that one? Uh, they are going to look so good, boys, yeah. when you're finished. Yeah, you want some glue on that one? Are you using this glue or glitter glue? Uh, that glue. Right, let me move this one then if you finish this one. Fins on the radiator. Fin, look at look at the camera. Look at that. <laughs> it fell off the radiator. It's got muffy. Alright, Thomas, do you want me to help you with yours? Yeah. I'm trying to make it bigger than this. Well they're both thing. the same size. Right. Mine's but I it. So I hope you squeeze and you move it where you want it to be. Not, but... not more stars. I want stars. Ooh. Yeah, you put stars on. I think we need a bit more glue, Finn. Oh, what's this? A stocking. I need a stocking. <laughs> this one is going to go right there. Sock. Candy cane? Uh, no. Candy cane? 
else have I got I want in there? red now. You'd like this purple. Let's see if I can get any purple out for you. Oh, I want it. If I help you squeeze and you move where you want it to go. Purple, what's Ready? this? Oh, it's an angel, I think. Well, you, you push it where you want it to go, love. I'll just squeeze, you move it. That's it. Engineer has been, and that is fixed. Apparently, uh, a shock absorber had worked its way loose, but he says not to use it for a couple of hours because um, he's kind of... Something fixed it. I can't remember. He kind of bolted it, but used some gluey stuff as well, I think, to stop it working its way loose again. So it needs to dry. Are you hungry, boys? Yeah. At school? Yeah. Um, I talk. Do you? When That's I good. My lunch. What, I don't want you talking while you've got food in your mouth, though, okay? You two can chatter to each other as long as you're not shouting. And as long as you haven't got food in your mouth. If you've got food in your mouth, you might choke. Big kick to Thomas. Pop it down then, because Thomas wants to kick too. That's it. I caught it. Well done, you. Um, I'm going to stop it running. Oh, that was a mighty kick. Well done, Thomas. That was a really big one, wasn't it? Yeah. Go on then, Finn. Finn. You are, aren't you? Big kick, Finn. Yay, nearly. Kick it to me. Like, do a big kick or I did. Yay! Good one, Finn. They're free playing for a little bit, so I came up and made the beds. Had a quick hoover up here. I've got myself lettuce wraps with coleslaw and cheese in for my lunch. They're little boats of yumminess. Mmm, 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 mm, yum. Very tasty. Just giving the bathroom a very, very quick flick around just to give the toilet a wipe and the sink a wipe and the floor around the toilet. And I'm taking the laundry down and I've also got some recycling and some dirty from the bins up here. The boys are all watching a bit of telly and not far off having a snooze, I think, for Finn. Um, so I've just had a nice bit of lunch, which I've just shown you before I came up. Um, I've done a little bit of housework when I came up and I called the vets because as you can see um, Toothless is still not walking properly. He's still very wobbly on his feet. He's still eating but I do think he's losing some weight. I mean he's 11. He's getting old. It could just be that but there's no local vet that specialises in reptiles so I have to go to Chipping Norton which is um, out. It's about an hour away. Um, it's out near where I went and did some of my overnight stops in the summer. Um, what's the word? The Cotswolds. The Cotswolds. That's where it is. So yeah, it's going to take me a bit of time to get there and a bit of time back. They did say there was an appointment at nine in the morning, but I just know I'll get caught in traffic. So I took the two o'clock appointment and I'll go. Lee is having the afternoon off, but he does have to be back at half four to pick Brendan up from work. So unfortunately he can't come with me. Um, and it kind of puts pay to our afternoon together, but it's fine. He's got quite a few afternoons booked off now up until Christmas because he had holiday to take. So he's got quite a few Friday afternoons. Um, so yeah, I'll just have to take Toothless on a bit of a day trip with me tomorrow and hopefully they can get to the bottom of it. I'm thinking it's probably just old age. In some ways, I'm hoping it is just old age because I don't really want there to be anything wrong with him. I just want it to be that he's getting old and, you know, we all start aching and season up a bit, don't we? But hopefully they can do something to help him, whether it be an injection or something to just maybe take take away the pain or discomfort if he's in pain or discomfort. I don't know. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Oh... I'll put some washing on now. It's been a few hours. I should have dried nicely. That's just a cloth. That's fine. Oh, I've got cold fingers again. I've just put the heating back on a bit stronger. 
because I'm freezing. Penguin or triangle? Penguin. Okay, take penguin. the penguin. Put the penguin on the pile. Um, yeah, it's Ollie's turn. Oh, come on. Right. Penguin or square? It's a squad of Go on, put it down then. It's a squad of rings. Woo, we did it. High five. Wait, when did you do that? Square. Okay. Yes. Snowman. Okay, pop him on the pile. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, reindeer or triangle? Reindeer. Go on then, pop reindeer down. Good boy. Oh, oh come on. Right. <laughs> Pentagon, which is a purple one, or reindeer? Pentagon. Okay, do you want to put the pentagon down? Good lad. What do you have? Mm, more one left. Don't tell him what it is, though. Don't tell him what it is. You can't see because you're hiding it. Oh! Oh, right. Do we have a polar bear or a circle? Do we have a polar bear or a circle? No. No, so we need to yes. take this one and hold on to it. What did you make? Uh, oh, is that for me? Yeah, no, I don't want it. I don't want... That's not how you give a gift. Yeah, I don't no, want it. I don't want it. Here, Mum, I made it for you. That's really lovely, Kenzie. What are the plants inside? Hyacinths. Hyacinths? Yeah. Oh. Out of the packet. That's really lovely. And that's your... What did you say it was? Uh, no, um, Among Us. Among Us. Defeat. Imposter. Victory. What's it? Oh, crewmate. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I'm going to have a little snack. You're hungry, hungry, are you? Are you hungry? Hungry. Thank you, Kenzie. It's really lovely. I love it very much. Where do I put it? Uh, it's been a window, doesn't it? Yeah. Do they get... Oh, I assume this will tell me what I do with it. Let's see. Please look after us. Hyacinth bowls. Oh, it's got the instructions. So it says, water us in so that the bulb fibre is nice and moist. Put us in a cool, dark place. Like a garage, a shelf, a garden shed, or put us in the garden. Do not forget to mark the spot where you buried us. Do not keep us in a centrally heated room. Oh, okay. When our bulbs are approximately three centimetres tall, bring us into a warm room. So the playroom probably is a good place. So if I water it and put it in the playroom, yeah, where it's cold. He is called Mr Bean and he's very silly. Oh, look, the tree's gone all wobbly. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think he's decided he wants to take that Christmas tree. That's the town Christmas tree. He can't take that home. He's going to drag it home, look, on the back of his mini. <laughs> silly Mr Bean. Lee's brought fish and chips home. So I'm going to sit in here with Christopher while he watches a bit of telly. We'll wait for Mummy and Daddy, who should be here any minute. I'm going to eat my fish and chips. Brendan, could you stretch your trouser, your pyjama bottoms, please? Thank you, because they always shrink. Could you test the length of them? Seems about right. <laughs> about, about long enough. I'll reel you in. Come on, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy. Oi. Yes. I was reeling you in. <laughs> that was right for that. This was loitering in the dark, and I came in and I was not expecting it. My eyes. I turned the lights on and blinded him. I came in in a minute ago. What did I come in for? I was stood here. Why was I stood here? Will you get ready to put my tea down? No. Would you like your tea? <laughs> was that a hint? Very badly veiled hint. Mm. You were just not visible enough, I'm sorry. Tea for the boy then. So he's been taken upstairs. Sorry, what was that? I cut my finger on a new scraper. 
Ouch. I fixed the glue scraper <laughs> and then I put hand sanitizer on the cone. <laughs> didn't actually hurt as much as it just to make sure that, you know, didn't, Ouch. didn't get anything in the cut, so I did put hand sanitizer on it. Sounds painful. But the glue uh, scraper can glue, scrape glue off the table. Well, you would think a glue scraper could scrape glue. Yeah, I had to, you know. That sounds like a tongue twister. A glue scraper open, could sleep. Pulled it open as far as I could, took out all the nubbins because it was broken and held. Is that the technical the tape term? And, you know, terrible workmanship. Okay. And then I used my own brand of terrible workmanship, which is just glue, hope, and a small bit of technology. You glued the glue, glue scraper to fix it? I used the glue to destroy the glue. Oh, okay. You have Christmas socks semi on. Yes. Now, is that sock half on or half off? I mean, it's. I mean, it's more than half off. Are we going with the off, not the on? Is it like a, you know, is it half empty or half full? I mean, it's in the process of coming off, therefore it is half off. When I'm putting it on, it's half on. Good point. It's too uh, too late in the day for it to be coming half on. It's just coming it's too half late in the day off. To be using semantics. Okay. Uh... Right. Well, now now I need to finish my vlog, so you'll just have to put up with me talking to myself for a minute, okay? Mm-hmm. I think I have vlogged enough. So I'm going to say goodbye to you all and I'm going to go and get in the shower and I'm going to go and get snuggly in my pyjamas. Um, yes, and that will be the end of my day. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna go for a run, but I've noticed how cold it's got. And I'm a little bit concerned about running. Not concerned, that's the wrong word. But when I went for my run, last friday it was a bit chilly and it hurt when i breathed hmm and if it's really foggy and cold that's going to be there must be a knack to it runners out there is there a knack to running in the cold that doesn't mean you're gasping in very very cold air i'm sure they're not i'm sure it's just i'm just gonna have to toughen up and stop being a wuss but yes that is something that occurred to me anyway i'll stop waffling i will see you all tomorrow thanks for watching